so yesterday uh, president museveni was uh, trending so big time on different social media platforms but do you know why now listen uh, yesterday in Kabale at the International Youth Day celebrations, uh, President Museveni inspected the guard of honor in a brand new bulletproof security booth on his lectern vehicle. And yet very many times he's been on a very open vehicle. Well, I think this is the very first time President Museveni to appear in public in a security booth. Uh, Ugandans questioned what's going on? Why is President Museveni hiding from his people and moving in the booth? And uh, some NRM people questioned that, but even Bobby Wine has a bulletproof car. So what is wrong with, uh, you know, President Museveni appearing in the security booth? But uh, NUP Secretary General David Lewis Rubonkoya responded to them that Bobby Wine's bulletproof car was never acquired to shield him from the people, but from the criminal regime, uh, which had made many attempts at him. He cited the Arua incident in which Bobby Wan's driver, Yasin Kauma, was assassinated by SFC. You also remember in Kayunga, where Bobby Wine had gone to campaign, and uh, his good friend, producer Dan Magic, was hit by a projectile. Uh, Rubonkoya reminded us about journalist Ashraf Kasirie, who was hit on the head with a projectile in Masaka. And also in Jinja, the bullet went through Bobby Wine's windscreen. All these were attempts to kill him. So Rubongoya said Bobby Wine didn't acquire a bulletproof car to shield him from the people but rather to protect him from the mafias who wanted to put him out of action. Well, I have seen some people on social media question that but is President Museveni the only president in East Africa who has used the security booth in public? Well, I think uh, the two presidents of Kenya, that is uh, the former president Uhuru Kenyatta and uh, the current president William Ruto Samoyi have also used this security booth at a public gathering. Yes, yeah, so let's not crucify President Museveni so much. He's not the first. <laughs> well, actually, very many Ugandans have reacted on this issue. I just want to read for you some comments on social media, you know, for you to have a picture of what's happening right there. Well, this is uh, Ronald by Namugisha. He said, if you're really loved, why do you need a bulletproof glass? And uh, to make matters worse, you're alone inside there, but still with a mask. Okay. Now, this is uh, Kasoma Andrew, and he said, It's becoming worse now. I don't think he trusts even his SFC guards, but it's the same way always. Uh, Mochibi Enoch, uh, he said, This guy knows something we don't know. Uh, bulletproof for what if the future is secured? And uh, Bruno Namis, he said, So, uh, after all these years of working with his vehicle open, now is the time to fear us, his voters, to this extent. Hope this wasn't a decoy for somebody to steal from him. And uh, let me wind up with the former leader of opposition in parliament, Right Honorable Wafula Ogutu. He said, simply sad. Why is he so scared of the people? Well, and uh, Bobby Wine said, the man who has manipulated our constitution and uh, elections several times to remain in power while claiming that it's the people who don't want him to go away, is the same man now acting like a fugitive, protecting himself from the people who he claims to love him? Tosanyi Sabude, don't play with time. Uh, that is a Bobby Wine, President Museveni's main opponent right there. Anyway, uh, that's what is making headlines in uh, President Museveni's camp. And uh, shockingly, Ugandans are not focusing on what he said at the celebrations yesterday, but uh, they are mostly focusing on the security booth he appeared in. At this time, you expect that uh, President Museveni's message at the celebrations should be the one trending. But guess what? Something else is making headlines in the country. Anyway, that is it. If you have anything on your mind you want to say about this story, uh, the comment section is very open for you. My name is uh, Mela Zmilo, a.k.a. Fula. It is a bye for now. Thank you. Audio jungle.